Hi everybody and welcome to Box to Puss. Today is a very exciting day because it's my second ever subscription box unboxing video. And I got a lot of stuff in the mail. <laughs> so we're gonna start with what came first, which is my Mindful Souls subscription box. So guys, grab a tasty beverage and let's get unboxing. By the way, this is my Innsmouth Fog Cutter Mug from Horror and Clay, a fantastic purveyor and creator of tiki mugs. Horror and Clay, call me. So, for any of you unfamiliar, Mindful Souls is a subscription box geared towards mindfulness, meditation, and spirituality. It is a monthly subscription box that is $40 a month and they ship on the 7th of every month. This should be my August box. I know it's September now, but I ordered it at the end of August, so they shipped me August anyway, and I'll get September uh, later this month. Along with this box, I also got a couple pairs of jewelry, which I will be opening first. And if you want to skip to the actual unboxing part, uh, I'll put a timestamp right below so you can just skip the jewelry part. But I have to say, the jewelry is what really convinced me to pay for the subscription box because what I saw on their website was absolutely gorgeous. Um, other than jewelry, um, I can expect crystals, aromatherapy, self-healing, and home decor accoutrement. So let's start with my jewelry. Hopefully you cannot tell how boiling hot it is in here, but I sure as heck can. Maybe I should use scissors, but I really don't want to cut what's in there. Um, as you guys follow me on this channel and you get to know me better, you will learn that I'm actually really, really bad at opening packages. And hopefully that'll be part of the entertainment. Nope, we're getting out the scissors. All right, so I have two lovely branded jewelry bags. They're both feel like canvas or hemp bags um, with their logo on them. And I will give you just a little... Ta-da! Okay, let's open them. To be honest, it's been a few weeks since I ordered this. I don't remember the crystals that are actually on these. So let's hope that there is a tag, which there is. Yay! So this is my Eye of Horus amulet. Isn't that gorgeous? There is a glare and I'm trying to it's, you can see all of the eye. But is that not sparkly and beautiful? I love sparkly things. So let's just put that on right now. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I can't remember what crystal this is, unfortunately. I think this may just be resin, but I may have to loosen this up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to loosen this up. I'm not really sure how. So let's cut this part as I figure out how to put on this necklace. All right, here we go. My Eye of Horus amulet. As a lover of ancient Egypt, uh, when I saw this on their website, I had to give it, get it. And I have to say, it's really, really pretty. I really like it. Uh, I definitely like a little bit of bling. Let's cover up the sports bra. Okay, let's see what's in the other jewelry bag. Spoiler, it's a necklace. I don't think I mentioned that in the beginning of my video. Ooh, pretty. It is another uh, pretty much identical style amulet, but with a different design. Here you go. Oops, let's turn that better. Come on, little amulet. Is that not cool? I love this. It's almost steampunky. And this too doesn't actually feel much like a crystal, although on the website, I do recall them saying they're crystals. And I would look it up on my email right now to tell you, but my email is currently attached to my phone, which is filming me. So um, perhaps in the video description, I'll list what crystals these are. But there you have it. I have these two lovely amulets from Mindful Souls. And now let's get to the subscription box unboxing. Okay, so the box arrived exactly like this. Um, 
it did get a little beat up, it seems, in transit. Um, it had my shipping label on the back. Um, I'm surprised it didn't even come wrapped in plastic at all, but I, I suppose they're just trying to be conscious. Um, but it says, share the love, hashtag mindful souls. So I'm going to cut this tape right here. And open this baby up. And this is what it looks like inside the box. Ta-da! You have the card right on top, which I love. I really hate it when the card shifts in, in transit and then you have to go digging through it and you're not sure, you know, you don't want to spoil yourself with the items inside, but you really need the card because you have to read it to your viewers. So the card says mindful souls. And did I mention I really love their logo? I just, I think it's so cool. The lotus flower with the third eye in it. I just think it's really neat. Well done, logo. Welcome to the Mindful Souls community. Our goal is to help people begin or enhance their spiritual practice as well as gain spiritual peace and fulfillment. We hope you really enjoy your first mindful box. The little things, the little moments, they aren't little. And that's John Kabat Zen. Okay, so on the back are all the items. And I'm just gonna start with this. Oh, which is an affirmation for creativity, in fact. My unique and creative talents and abilities flow through me. So as far as I know, I'm supposed to use this affirmation during my meditation. Um, and this one is geared specifically, specifically <laughs> towards expanding my creativity. And it has a lovely hummingbird on it. I like this, especially since I'm now engaging in a new creative pursuit. So we've got the affirmation. Also, right on top, I see a nice sticker. Yay, sticker! This will go on my laptop. <laughs> okay, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. All right, the first thing I'm getting is a beautiful dream catcher. I have actually never had a dream catcher in my life. And this, um, it's sort of a mini one, but let's read the uh, description while I place this down here for you guys to look at. Dreamcatchers originated with the Ojibwe people, and I may be mispronouncing that, I apologize. A group of natives of North America. It was said that dreamcatchers caught any harm that might be in the air. As a spider's web, it catches and holds whatever comes in contact with it. So hang it or wear it. Dreamcatchers are things that bring in positivity in life and peace to your mind. So this will, I will definitely hang this by my bed. I love the colors. I mean, I'm just bright colors, bright colors all day, every day. Let's see, 100% handmade. It says, we insist on original designs only. The Native American Indians believed that dream catchers caught negative dreams in their web-like structure and held them until daylight when the sunlight hit them at dawn. Sorry, there's a stamp on the back and it's hard to read through it. The negative energy caught in the web was destroyed. So I don't actually, it says ODM is the brand. I would be interested to know if this was actually made by Native Americans, um, but it is lovely nevertheless. So I'm gonna put that right there. Now we have, just show you what else is in the box and what's coming. Oh, rosemary fragrance oil for use in air revitalizer or ultrasonic humidifier. So it sounds like I'm going to need an essential oil diffuser for my room. But I love rosemary. We actually have a good rosemary plant outside growing right now. Let's smell. It smells really good. So I am aware that essential oils, uh, some of them are toxic to cats and or dogs. So I have both. I will make sure to look up if rosemary is safe uh, for both of them. And if it is, then I will use it. I love the smell, it smells amazing. So yay. That's actually <laughs> my very first essential oil ever. So pretty cool. Looking at the card about the rosemary oil, it says, Considered sacred, rosemary is one of the most powerful herbs on the planet. 
Native to the Mediterranean, the wooded evergreen has been used in folk medicine for thousands of years to improve memory, blah, 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 improve memory, <laughs> soothe digestive uses, relieve muscle aches and pains. I suppose, and relieve muscle aches and pains. It is also known for its anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory properties. Now, as someone with fibromyalgia and arthritis, I can tell you I could use some anti-inflammatory properties. So, very cool. All right. Every time I get a box, it's like Christmas. I really love subscription boxes. All right. Um, I don't want to spoil myself, so I'm just going to open this jewelry bag right here. And we have recyclable confetti strips in here. Yay, it's an amethyst. I'm pretty sure it's an amethyst. It's an amethyst. <laughs> amethyst is actually my very favorite crystal. Um, and it is my birthstone. It was born in February and this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. It's gorgeous. This is so pretty. I just, I really like their jewelry a lot. I'm gonna leave that here while I read you the card. The Pendulum Amethyst Necklace. Amethyst is one of the most spiritual stones, promoting love and encouraging selflessness and spiritual wisdom. Mentally, it helps you feel less scattered, more focused and in control of your faculties. <laughs> I, yeah. Every year I age, I get a little bit more scatterbrained. Tap into the energy of the amethyst to fuel your determination with inspiration. Remind yourself that you can achieve anything you set out to achieve with the help and clarity of amethyst. Make tuning into the energy of amethyst the first of many healthy choices in your life. And according to my chakra systems research that I've been doing, um, the amethyst is actually connected to your third eye, so it promotes insight. So I'm very excited to have this. I really, really, really like it. Pretty, pretty. Amethysts are a girl's best friend. All right, next up, another jewelry bag. Could be crystals, could be jewelry, could be both. It's like Schrodinger's crystal in here. Ooh. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. It's a bracelet with an elephant. And by the way, African elements are my favorite animal on the planet. And I love almost every animal, except the squirrels that eat my birdseed white turquoise and lava stone bracelet i have never this is going on my wrist right now never heard of white turquoise before i've only ever seen turquoise turquoise <laughs> turquoise has long been <laughs> turquoise has long been considered a master healer said to assist the absorption of nutrients while strengthening the immune system and stimulating tissue regeneration Black lava beads are an igneous volcanic rock that is basically molten lava that is solidified under intense pressure and heat. It is a stone of strength, fire, passion, and courage that brings stability throughout changes in your life. It helps you to harness the power of the fire within. Lava beads are porous and can even absorb the oil of your choice. Cool! Directions. We suggest applying just a drop or two of essential oil to the black lava beads. The scent will last a day, if not more. You can use any of your favorite essential oils. That's awesome. That is so cool. I'm sorry I'm fanning myself on camera, but it is really just that hot. So you guys are going to have to deal with it. But that is so neat. So as soon as I do my research on whether or not rosemary oil is safe for dogs and cats, I will add some to my bracelet. But I love it. I love it a lot. So one last little look. You just... Cool, cool, cool. I like it. <laughs> Okay, this box is a big win so far. All right, second to last item. This looks like more jewelry. Oh, it's a lotus. Oh, I like that a lot. It's a lotus flower necklace. The lotus flower is native to India and actually grows in the mud. Its roots go down into the mud and the flower blooms above it. So it's quite symbolic for us blooming despite all of our murky dark sides. That's really pretty. All right, let's read the card on the Lotus. And I just remembered, I'm actually wearing an elephant shirt right now. Well, sort of, I suppose it's Ganesh, but. Lotus flower necklace. Prized for its purity, the Lotus lives in muddy water yet is untouchably wholesome and clean. Thus it reflects the highest expression of beauty. 
To blossom in the sun, the lotus flower must first grow through muck and mud, a phenomenon that may serve as a moving metaphor for our own spiritual paths. This said it way better than I did. I need to stop giving explanations for things before reading the card. Oh, but yay, I really like this too. Oh my goodness. All right, final item here. It's this. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, um. Oh, good. I believe this is rose quartz, but it is a tower. So I'm going to put that right there and let's read it. Yes, rose quartz pointer crystal. I've been hoping for a rose quartz ever since I opened my tame well box and got the Labradorite tower. I've heard good things about rose quartz. It says it is the stone of the heart, a crystal of unconditional love and infinite peace. It is the most important crystal for the heart and heart chakra, teaching the true essence of love. It purifies and opens the heart at all levels and brings deep inner healing and self-love. It is calming, reassuring, and excellent for use in trauma or crisis. Rose quartz gently draws off negative energy and replaces it with loving vibes. Carry it with you, meditate with it, lay with it on your body, or place it in your space. And it's a really, really beautiful beautiful stone right here. I don't know how much of the detail you guys can actually see. I don't think it'll focus that close, but it really is beautiful. Um, there is a note here at the bottom of the card. It says, it's important to cleanse and energize your crystals as soon as you obtain them. Allow your crystals to sit under cool running tap water for 10 to 20 minutes. If you are near to a natural running river, stones can be placed in an open mesh bag and left for a short time in the natural running water. I know there are various other ways of cleansing crystals, such as moonlight, simple meditation. I know water isn't the best for some crystals because they're porous. Um, I was doing some research. Um, oh, it says there is one more item in here, but I didn't see it. Oh. Part of me just really wanted to take all this and go, wee, and then I realized I didn't want to have to clean it up. Oh, there, okay. I'm really glad I looked at the card. Oh, it's precious. It is a tiny little Buddha figurine. <laughs> Let's read it. Serenity Buddha figure. This figurine is for people who are either looking for peace and calm in their lives or for those who wish to improve their own meditation skills. The silhouette of the figurine is shaped more or less like a triangle, <laughs> which represents stability. This isn't typically my style. Um, I tend to decorate my house with animals and nature images and not really humanoid figures. Um, but it is cute, uh, and it's going to be perfect for my uh, meditation altar that I ordered on Etsy. So that is all of the box. Oh my goodness, that was a haul. So let's display, oh, let me just put all of these out in some sort of semblance of attractiveness. And let's recap. Uh, so this box is $40 a month. They don't have an option to subscribe for three months at a time, six months at a time. You pay every month. Um, and you can cancel whenever. And whoop, I re just realized I should be looking at this camera here so I can see where things are placed. But um, was it worth $40? Yes, I think definitely this was worth $40. The quality of the jewelry is not, this is thin metal. I If it is, if there is silver, it's silver plated. I don't believe so. It actually feels like nickel. Um, luckily I don't have a nickel allergy, um, but the crystals are gorgeous. And I think the jewelry has just enough sparkle and fun that you can wear something like this as an everyday piece and not feel like you're too blingy and extravagant. Um, I love the dream catcher. I think it's lovely. I'm going to look up ODM as a maker and just see if they're actually native American, which would be very cool. Um, the figurine, um, seems quite well made. There's no maker's mark on the bottom. So I don't know who made this actually, it could have been Mindful Souls themselves. This could be one of their products. Like I know a lot of the jewelry is, but I will definitely pay $40 again for this box next month. And then if you also want to see it again, we have this necklace that I ordered separately, which is super steampunky. And then my Eye of Horus amulet. So yay, that was Mindful Souls. Um, I'm really looking forward to the next box. I really enjoy this. Um, and I will make sure to cleanse my crystals before I wear them and check on rosemary oil. So thank you again, guys, for tuning in to Boxtopus. 
Uh, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.